Welcome to Covered Crafts and Experiments, brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District. Today, we're doing Kandinsky Circle Flowers. Kandinsky was a Russian artist who believed in the power of color. And in this piece, he made lots of circles, his favorite shape, by the way. And as you can see, he wasn't concerned with a perfect circle. He was just having fun with shape and color. Well, today, we're going to have fun with color and paper. And we are gonna make these flowers. And you, what you'll need today is glue, a scissor, a pencil is optional, a button is optional. And for your paper, if you don't have colored construction paper, I have lots of scraps here, then you might want to use cardboard from cereal boxes or other kinds of boxes that are being recycled, or just ads. I've noticed that the ads coming in the mail these days are very spring-like and have very fun colors. All right, well, let's get started. We are going to start with purple today. As you can see, there's six colors here in my flower, and I'm gonna start with the smallest circle. Now I'm gonna just cut a basic circle shape. You might want to use a pencil and draw a circle first. Parents, it's a great time to let your kids practice their cutting skills. Using scissors is important and great for fine motor skills. All right, well anyway, there's my first circle. And then I'm going to place my first circle on my next color. And I'm just gonna hold it here. You might want to choose to glue it on and then cut around it, but I'm just cutting a little bigger than that first circle. And then you're gonna do this for four more colors. But what you wanna decide is, do you want to fringe your flower or just leave it plain? Here's a plain one so you can compare. To fringe, I cut slits all around the edge of the circle, not cutting too far into it. And then you can curl them up if you like that look. And for each color, you're going to glue. Just the center is fine. And put it on the next circle until you have a flower that looks like this. Now, before you start gluing, you might want to decide, do you want your colors to stack up toward the middle? Or do you want to be more abstract? and have your colors slide to one side like that. It's completely up to you. You are the artist and these are your flowers. Now, if you'd like to finish your flower with something in the middle, I put a button here. But on this, my recycled flower, I put a piece of gum wrapping paper in the middle of that one. You could do that. Or you could use some other kind of recycling object to put in the middle. Okay. So, you need green paper for your stem, just a strip of paper and a leaf. If you don't have green paper, as you can see here, I found some ads, and this had a very, very pretty several greens on it. I thought it made a good stem. Now, to make a stem for your flower, I've cut a strip out of one of the ads that I have found in my mail. And to make a leaf, you might want to use a pencil first. Very simple, two curved lines. Or again, you could just cut freehand with your scissor. And you can cut as many leaves for your flower as you want. Again, it's your flower. There are Kandinsky circle flowers. Maybe your parents will let you hang them up on a window or a wall. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time for Covered Crafts and Experiments.